Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening. So if you have not seen my last Crystal Opening, stop the video. Go check it out because it will get spoiled. I'll try to explain what you're looking at here, but stop, go take a look. All right, now, what you are looking at here is the second tier of the Cavalier offers. Now, I made a video and I told you how I feel about these uh, offers. They are not good offers at all, not even close. But you might be at the point where these are actually pretty good for you and useful. So my plan was to get the first tier at Cavalier, become Thronebreaker, then take and get all of the offers for Thronebreaker. Now, I thought that these offers would go away, the Cavalier offers, once I became Thronebreaker. So I went. I made sure I got the first tier, then became Thronebreaker, but I got both the offers still here. So I got all the Thronebreaker offers. And in the last Crystal Opening, I pulled Dr. Doom. Finally, the one five star that can affect my prestige. So now that I did that, I'm revisiting this second tier for the Cavalier offer. I was going to pass on it, but ironically, this Awakening gem, don't really care about it. I already have five of those. Don't care about that gem. Uh, the five star shards, well, it's going to give me uh, more tries at an Aegon, which is what we're going to be doing in this opening. We're going to try to get an Aegon. Uh, the Signature Stones doesn't really matter. Uh, I already have enough to max out Doom, but that will be nice. Okay, Six Star Hero Shards. It'll push me uh, further along to my next Six Star. Five Star Nexus Crystal. We might get something good out of it. Watch the video. Uh, now, these Tier 2 Alpha Catalysts. I'm going to need these because I've gotten some decent champions that I want to rank up. And so I need tier two alphas. So without further ado, we're grabbing the tier two offer for Cavalier. Now this one here, not touching. Uh, in order for me to get this, I would have to uh, open up my battle chips and I could get it after I opened up my battle chips, but uh, I don't think it's worth it, honestly. Um, I like to acquire things. It does have the six star hero shards and uh, that would expand my roster, maybe even give me a champion that I could rank up. But then you see the signature stones, 150, five star signature stones. No, tier five basic, no. So this offer, Horrible, horrible, horrible. So I'm definitely passing on this one. All right, so let's go ahead uh, to the crystals. And we are going to try and pull an Aegon. All right, so let's get in here. And let's go ahead and just grab all of these. And we'll just let these guys spin out. Now, the only champions that I want from this crystal are Aegon and Namor. Those are the only two. Uh, now, I know this gets expanded, and so I'm not sure if there's a new champion that was added. But the last time I checked, I had every champion in here except Aegon and Namor. All right. So let's see. Okay. Um I take it back. I didn't know he was in here. Okay. So Hit Monkey is also one if I had known he was in here, he would have been one of the champions I wanted. Wow, this weekend is insane. Wow. I am just I don't get a chance to use this word often. I'm flabbergasted. Okay, wow. I didn't even know he had been added into this crystal. 
uh, I would have definitely had him, you know, up there as one of my most wanted uh, because I was hoping to pull him from the featured when he was in the feature. He is a pretty cool uh, monkey and there's a level up going on right now. So this is like the best time for me to open these crystals and I'm going to have to just level some of them up and leave them at, at rank one for a little bit because of course I need to get doom up there you know he's going to be my priority uh that's why i got that offer uh so that i could have the resources to go ahead and take him up all right slowing down what do we got that was a surprise for me okay already have him but wow i mean no matter what else i get the only way that that could be better you know would be if i got an Aegon. You know, obviously he is the big boy prize out of here, but that hit monkey, that that made me smile. That made me smile. So right now, I actually have even arena teams. I had checked after my last uh, opening, and I have even arena teams with this hit monkey. The Immortal Abomination arena is going to be uh, next week. And I'm probably going to go for him as well. Uh, so that'll break up my even arena teams, but I don't really care about that. Uh, always prefer to have new champions. All right. So again, I man, I was looking at the reel. I didn't even see him in the reel until right at the end when he came about. Maybe I just missed him. All right. What do we got? Okay. Yep. Already got her. Um, I also have that Nick Fury as well. So I believe now the only champions I don't have are Namor and Aegon. And honestly, uh, this is going to be... All right. No, don't. No, thank you. Definitely no thank you. Wow. That was horrible. Um, but uh, this will be the last one for a little bit. Uh, but I will be opening these crystals from now on to get Aegon. Now, uh, me and Aegon have a love-hate relationship. I don't really like Aegon. However, if I want to do the Abyss cheaply, the cheapest that I can do it, then I need an Aegon. And he's also useful uh, in other uh, areas, you know, in Act 6, and he's probably going to be useful in Act 7. So, just because of that usefulness, I want him. But I don't really like him. I don't like ramp-up champions. But once he's ramped up, he is one of the best in the game. All right, last one. Can we get an Aegon? I don't even see him. Uh, and it's an Agent Venom. You know, like I said, I have all of them. All right, so to end this video, we are going to open up that five-star Nexus and I'm going to open up some uh, fragments because I'm close to a few. All right. That's just beautiful. A new champion. Just just out of the recent crystals that I've opened. And I opened them up all in the same day. Even though you guys will see this, you know, uh, throughout the week. I did this all over the weekend. And so I got like three new champions. So, phenomenal. All right. Uh, let's see. So, we are... Yeah, we're halfway to a six-star. All right. Let's go over here and grab this. Uh, let's open up the fragments. Let me, let me show you guys uh, my Catalyst stash real quick. So, you can see uh, where we're at and what we're looking for. All right. So... Uh, cosmic, we're close to getting a cosmic uh, tier five catalyst. As you can see, we're at forty-two seven fifty. Okay, so cosmic and uh, mutant, we're not really that close. Science, we just formed a science, which is why we're at a uh, thousand three fifty. Um, mystic, very very close. All right, so would love that. Um, we're getting there on the uh, skill and the uh, tech, 
but not really close on any of them. So uh, as we open these, we are looking for a mystic and we're looking for a cosmic. All right, mystic and cosmic. Those are the two that we want the most. Uh, let's see. And they're only little small ones, um, I think. Yeah, I think uh, I bought the last bit. Yeah, I bought the last bit from uh, Joe Fixit's Fine Goods. So anything other than science, honestly, we don't really want to form another science. You know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, but really, we want Mystic and Cosmic. Uh, Cosmic, my uh, Corvus, six-star Corvus, he would be going up to uh, rank three. All right. Let's see. Cosmic, Cosmic. Mystic, Cosmic. Yeah, okay. Uh, like I said, tech's not bad. All right. Uh, let's keep going. So, I believe we are so close to a mystic that if we did get a mystic I think that's all we would need to form one just one of these but it's all good I will be getting 10 percenters from AQ we'll get it but we're really close so close so close so close all right let's uh all right tapped it on its own come on cosmic or mystic cosmic or mystic stop no don't stop okay Woo, in between two. Uh, science, don't really want science. Uh, so mutant, not a problem. Uh, eventually, I'll be able to take up my uh, Omega Red. Uh, both Cosmic, I mean, uh, both Corvus and Omega Red are currently ranked two. So we'll be able to take them up. Also, I have a one to two generic six star rank up gem and a mutant one to two rank up gem. Uh, for the six stars, so uh, if I were to pull a good uh, Mystic Champion, we'd be in there. All right, come on, some good Cosmic. Okay, good. Love that. It's not enough to get us um, uh, formed, I don't believe. Uh, when I looked, yeah, I think only the um, how close are we? Yeah, uh, only Mystic was close enough. All right, but we did get one cosmic, so we are doing well. Okay, let's uh, end this with the five-star Nexus. And since I got Dr. Doom, the only five-star that I'm really looking for is Aegon. It's the only one. Now, if the pattern holds, I opened up a ton of crystals dual class crystals mystic and uh and science trying to get dr doom and did not pull him from a dual class crystal then i opened a five star nexus that i got from the offers just like this one and that's where we got our dr doom so for me i pushed ahead got the offer even though i hated it even though i didn't like it and it worked out for me okay so let's go ahead and see what we got. Do we got anybody good? <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. So, this has been the most insane set of openings that I have had. I just got everything that I wanted from these crystals. And I got it in the same way. I wanted Dr. Doom, opened up dual class crystals, couldn't pull him. Then I opened up a Nexus that I got from the Thronebreaker offers and got Dr. Doom. Did the same here. Opened up a bunch of dual crystals. In fact, I opened up more than 30 of these dual class crystals. I get the offer reluctantly. 
and we get an Aegon. Wow. Of course, we'll be choosing Aegon. As you see, he's the only one that's new. Oh no, maybe maybe I should get a Black Widow. I better not even say that because I'll accidentally do it. So let's confirm that bad boy. Wow. I cannot believe this. This is crazy. You know, I was bummed out when I saw the offers on Friday. I really was. It put me in a really bummed out mood. And I decided to just go ahead and, you know, spend my units, get the offers, you know, don't let them steal my joy kind of a thing. Uh, and I saw that, you know, there was a possibility that I could still get, you know, some account changing uh, champions and, and resources and all of that. But I didn't really think I would. And that opening where I got Dr. Doom, that put me in the best mood. And this has just sent me over. So, wow. I don't even know what crystals I will be opening from now on because I've got everybody that I really, really wanted. Um, I'll have to look and see uh, who's in the pool, but Aegon's going to help me um, do the Abyss. I'm not ready to do the Abyss just yet, guys. But this is the missing piece that I needed. Dr. Doom is one of the horsemen. Uh, and if you don't know what that is in the Abyss, there's a team, a uh, four-man team, that is considered optimal, at least for the first path. Aegon is the only one that can't be replaced. So Aegon, I was never going in there without an Aegon. Aegon, we just got. Dr. Doom was another one of the horsemen. We got Dr. Doom. Nick Fury was another one of the horsemen. We got Nick Fury. The only horseman that we don't have is Human Torch, but he can also be replaced. And I do have replacements for him. So, wow. It's going to be a while before I can get him up. Uh, I have been saving resources just for this situation. Uh, now that I got that offer, even better because I needed the T2 alphas to be able to get both of them up there. Uh, so, wow, that's going to do it, guys. I'm I'm just, again, flabbergasted. But that's going to do it. Take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'm, I am just drained right now. Deliriously happy, okay? Um, as bummed out as I was, I'm now elated. Uh, so take care and you all have a blessed day.